junk or start a device. We are going cheap on thermal cameras today. A buddy of mine, he's a new hunter, called me a couple of months back, wanted to know what kind of thermal imager he should get. Thing is, he had already dropped a small fortune on his rival and didn't want to spend too much more. Totally underestimated what else you need for hunting. Classic rookie mistake. Spending the most on the thing you use the least. Anyway, I sat down and tried to figure out what's even doable with his budget. He had like 500 bucks tops, which really isn't much in this space. But I remembered the Hick Micro LC06 was still out floating around for about 400 bucks. I bought one myself a few years ago. Nowadays, you can even snack it for closer to 300. Since I also recommended he get something with a decent field of view, I landed on the Hick Micro LE10S. It's got a pretty wide view and still stays right around at 400 euros here in Europe. That was reason enough for me to borrow the LE 10 as my friend got it in the meantime, for some testing and pit it directly against the absolute bottom of the barrel LC06. Spoiler alert, the results actually surprised me and the night had a few unexpected twists. And hey, before you forget, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button, it helps the channel out a lot. So I took both units out to my favorite hunting stand just to see how much detail you can even make out in the environment. And wow, I did not expect the difference to be that big. The LC06 has a pretty low resolution, 160 by 120 pixels. The LE10S steps it up a little bit by 256 by 192. Not a huge jump on paper, but out in the fields, it's a whole different story. The LC06 basically shows you vague blobs, very little structure, but the LE10S, it's not crystal clear or anything, but at least I can actually see what's going on in front of me. First heat signature I spotted was in a tree, not much more than a bright dot about 20 yards away on the LC06 but I already knew what it was even without switching devices. That little owl always hangs out there waiting for mice near the feeder. Here's the same shot with the LE10S. I think it's pretty easy to tell what it is and here, same distance, around 20 yards. I confirmed it with my Suitong HAT770 night vision and sure enough, there's the owl. And at that point, it swooped down silently right in front of me. Super cool moment. Later that night, I caught a heat signature of two animals about 80 to 90 yards just straight ahead of me out in the woods. Well, they didn't come any closer. On the LC06, you'd really have to squint to even notice. The LE10S picked it up clearly, though not clear enough to identify. I figured they were boars. I kept hearing typical sounds coming from that direction. I started flipping through the color palettes on both units, black assault, red assault, fusion, you name it. But honestly, nothing really helped on the LC06. And the LE10S, way better, as you can see. Now, one thing the LC06 does do well is field of view. It gives you over 40 yards at 100 yards distance. That's pretty wide. I just wish something would walk by so I could actually use that wide angle for once. Eventually, a young fox decided to give me the demo I'd been hoping for. And right then, I was honestly amazed at how much detail the LE10S gave me. You could clearly see body structure and even warm spots on the ground from the fox paws. The LC06 just glowing blob walking past the feeder. Quick note on the menus, the LE10S has sub-menus, so you're not stuck scrolling through everything you don't need anyway. LC06, all settings dumped on one page. Physically, both devices 
are basically identical IP67 rated, so they'll probably handle rain just fine. The LC06 uses a 6.2 mm lens, LE10 has a 9.7 mm. When you do the mass on horizontal resolution times pixel pitch, the sensor chip on the LC06 ends up being only 2.72 mm, so I just had to write that down. And the LE10S, it's only 3.07 mm. So yeah, both are tiny and those small germanium lenses help keep the price of these items, of course, low and down. Field of view. For me personally, always important to put every device into a category. Comes out to 43 yards for the LC06 and 32 yards for the 10S. So yeah, the LC06 wins big at that one if you are looking for a wide angle device. But while both supposedly have the same NETD rating, I really couldn't see that and the results at all. By the way, if you want a deeper dive on stuff like resolution, field of view, NETD, all that technical stuff, we've got a full episode that breaks it down. I think everybody should have a basic idea of what they're using links up in the corner. Battery life, solid on both. The LC06 barely seems to use any power at all, but it's tough to run either of them down. Solid batteries for both. After the fox wandered off to the left, I couldn't see him anymore, but I could still hear him clearly. Eventually, I climbed down from the hunting stand and checked if I could still find my way to the car using just these two devices. It was a warm night, and while the LC06 gives you that nice wide angle, there was barely any structure visible. LE10S had a tighter view, but yeah, it got me back to the car just fine. You know what I love about hunting? It's full of surprises. I was about to head out to the fields, wasn't quite satisfied with the fox test at that time, when I suddenly heard a very familiar sound rolling in from the left. Wild boar, and a lot of them coming right at me. Six big ones and four piglets. By this point I'd already written off the LC06 and focused on the LE10S and wow, it really stepped up. I stood just 25 to 30 yards in front of the group, no wind, perfect setup, and for a device with just 256 by 192 resolution, I was seriously impressed. I could clearly pick out the leading cell, no way you could get that level of detail with the LC06, that's only a hundred bucks cheaper. That moment really sealed the deal for me. Now we're at clear idea on the saw, which made five younger ones fair game, but I wasn't totally happy with the backstop in that direction. The terrain drops off and there's development beyond that. So I passed, just enjoyed the moment. Sometimes that's all you need. So here's my take for 400 bucks, the LE10S is honestly a solid option, especially for novice hunters. Decent field of view, not too close, not too much wide angle, and while you are not IDing anything at 100 yards, you can see where something is and use your scope to ID it from there. The LC06 only 100 bucks less, but not really in the same league, not at all. But I did find one use for it. You can clamp the LC06 to your stand, especially near the feeder, and connect it to the app on your phone. Just lay your phone down on the floor, screen dimmed down, saves you from having to stare through your thermal camera the entire time. As soon as something moves, you will see it on the screen, then use your other thermal or your night scope to ID. I'm a cameraman and a hunter, and on this channel we combine the best of both worlds, optics and hunting. By the way, every episode we do is in both German and English, so if you run accidentally into one that's in German and you'd rather watch in English, check the channel for the other version, they might just surface a few days apart. Hope you liked this look at the budget end of the thermal market. If you did, consider subscribing, helps the algorithm and helps us grow. Catch you next time out in the woods.